guys, Sandy Ingram here. Welcome to the Education Matrix channel, where we talk about exotic currencies and tax consequences, mostly the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnam dong, along with low-cost investments. You can find the links to these low-cost investments in the description. The Central Bank of Iraq is taking a firm and strategic approach by enabling transparency, disclosure of financial statements, and dealing with international financial organizations in order to restore confidence in international banking transactions. Now, this statement from the Central Bank of Iraq is important because it implies the country wants to repair the reputation of reports of inaccurate data and information and play nicely in the sandbox with other central banks and other countries. Now, corruption within the CBI goes way back. For example, in 2013, the deputy governor of the Central Bank of Iraq was arrested on charges of embezzlement of public funds. Now, here's what you may want to understand. Most of the Iraqi people do not care about a revalue of their currency to the point of one dinar equaling one U.S. dollar. The Iraqi people just want money in their pocket, food, clean water, electricity, shelter, health care, and money to pay their cell phone bill. The majority of the Iraqi people I repeat, the majority of the Iraqi people do not yet understand the benefits of having an international currency with a high exchange value. Now, regardless of which country we are talking about, all central banks exist for the purpose of creating and maintaining stability. Central banks around the world are stability banks. They are banks whose job it is to keep the economy stable. Thus, when Iraq Central Bank has something to say, we listen. And right now, they are saying transparency is their new MO or mode of operation. 